at approximately 800 feet elevation. Bordering far north by Centennial Park, Master Gardener Cindy's property has a sweeping view of Cook Inlet, the Anchorage Bowl, and the Chugash Mountains. Cindy and her husband have been working on her garden approximately 12 years. Bright reds, yellows, and oranges greet her family right away this year on the entry deck. These potted annuals from Fresh Starts and Palmer are the few plants she purchases. Cindy prefers the patinaed look on this copper trellis titled Midnight Sun made by her husband, a retired engineer into structure. He also does all the rock work. We'll see more of his work throughout the property. The only existing gardens when she and her husband purchased the house were the beds edging the structure. She has expanded them a little and built them up. Cindy starts, propagates, shares, and trades all of her own perennials. Dwarf monkshood, white thelictrum, and common thelictrum. Beds burst at the seams with a succession of blooming perennials. Varieties of primula accentuate the edges. She has never had a problem with plants being right near the house, no rot. If the house needs to be painted, it has to be scheduled a year in advance. Once the plants come up, you're not messing with the gardens. Blue poppies, a stilby, trolleus, more monkshood, ligularia, and oriental poppies are standards. Cindy squeaks out zone 4 plants with much success close to the house due to the reflected heat. Although in most places she works with zone 3 plants. On the back of the house, hops vines climb a slanted wall built to maximize northern latitude sun. Yellow iris pseudocorus, commonly grown for foliage, was given to her by another gardener. She and her husband collect the decorative slate in Hope, Alaska. Irises are planted in a low spot because they prefer moist feet. The kiwi vine lived on an arch, but the high winds kept blowing it down, so her husband made the new wall trellis. Cindy had plant labels custom made to help her remember what was planted where. She has a mantra to her plants. If you need pampering, you might as well get out now. Surrounding the vines are several varieties of philopendula and a stilby. This delicate galenia is a plant uncommon to Alaska gardeners but is native to North America. Giant alliums pop like fireworks while the twitterpated peony readies itself. Cindy didn't think it would survive, but it's here. Her gardening routine is to cut everything down in fall and clean it out. It's too messy and time-consuming to do in spring. This way it's all done and the beds are ready to grow. Besides, the greenhouse beckons in spring. Peonies at the back of the greenhouse are all red, except one that is pink that wasn't supposed to be. She doesn't have the heart to get rid of it. She allows it to add a dimension of color.